Hey everybody, how's it going? Matthew Kadish here, author of the Earthman Jack Space Saga, available over on Amazon.com, so if you want to support the channel, please go check it out. Um, today, we are going to be talking more about the big Kevin Feige news that dropped this week. And, uh, you know, uh, like I said in my last video, kind of unpacking this uh, announcement that Kevin Feige was going to be producing a Star Wars movie, um, there's a lot of stuff that kind of goes hand in hand with it that I just couldn't fit all into one video. So I'm going to, probably going to be doing a series of videos about Kevin Feige and the implications of his Star Wars uh, foray. So uh, if we go on over to this Hollywood Reporter article, there was a uh, part in here that has been causing a lot of rumblings in the uh, Twitterverse and in the fandom and stuff like that. And that is this line right here, which is that uh, one knowledgeable source says Feige has told a major actor that there's a specific role he would like that person to play if and when he makes the movie. And this one line has set off all types of speculation as to who this major actor would be and uh, what their involvement with the movie could uh, mean for the future of Star Wars. Now, uh, the prevailing and probably the theory that has gotten the most attention and ire online is that Brie Larson is the major actor that Kevin Feige is referring to in this article, or who the source is saying that Feige is referring to. And, uh, you, you know, obviously on its surface, this rumor stems from the fact that Kevin Feige is big on Brie Larson. He cast her as the face of the next stage of the MCU. Uh, he was very big on Captain Marvel, yada, yada, yada. However, uh, the actual um, rumor stems from this article from We Got This Covered. Now, we got this covered as kind of an odd news site in the sense that sometimes their reporting is pretty good and most of the time their reporting is just garbage clickbait. And when I first saw this article, which was published before the news that Kevin Feige was producing a Star Wars film, I wrote it off as complete bumpkiss. I felt like this was just fake news. This was just another clickbaity rumor. Uh, but there might be something to this, actually. So uh, over at We Got This Covered, the headline is Disney wants Brie Larson to lead their new Star Wars trilogy. This is an article by Matt Joseph. And it goes, Captain Marvel star Brie Larson showed us her lightsaber skills over the summer when she checked out Star Wars Galaxy's Edge ex experience at Disneyland Anaheim. And after channeling her inner geek once more a few weeks later with another photo of herself dressed as a Jedi, which you can see down here, Fans have begun to call for the actress to book a trip to that galaxy far, far away for real. I don't know how many fans are actually doing that. Um, probably Brie Larson fans, but Star Wars fans, for the most part, certainly aren't. They want her kept far, far away from the galaxy that we all know and love. Uh, but th this part of the article is basically referring to Brie went to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge over the summer. She dressed up like a Jedi, posed for a bunch of pictures that she posted on her Instagram. And it was just kind of like fun cosplay for her, but it caused a big uproar in the Star Wars fandom, simply because there are people there who don't like her, um, not because she's a bad actress, even though some people will argue that she is, um, but mostly because um, of her uh, propensity to attack fans and segments of her audience, or for her movie's audiences, in particular white men. Um, so a lot of people kind of feel insulted by her. A lot of people kind of feel like she's a little bit full of herself and a little bit mean and a little bit insensitive. And so they just don't like her. And putting her in Star Wars at a time where there's already such a divide in the fandom is probably not the best idea. Getting back to the article. But what are the chances Brie Larson will show up in a Star Wars movie? Well, she's cl clearly a big fan of the sci-fi franchise. But given that she's still busy preparing to lead the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's unclear if she'd have the time to hop on over to Disney's other behemoth property. That being said, the studio would certainly be interested in having her on board if they can make it work. Sources 
and I use that term loosely, close to we got this covered, the same ones who told us Tom Welling was returning to Crisis on Infinite Earths, Jonah Hill was signing on for the Batman, and that the CW was developing an Arrow spinoff for Catherine McNamara, all of which have now been confirmed, have told us that Disney really wants Brie to take one of the lead roles in either Ryan Johnson, Ryan Johnson's new Star Wars trilogy, or the one coming to us from Game of Thrones creators David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. It's unclear which one she'd appear in, if she'll even travel to the galaxy far, far away at all, but from what we understand, the Mouse House would like to find a way to make it work and have her continue her MCU commitments while also being involved in Star Wars. And though that may not be possible in the end, we'll keep our fingers crossed that things will work out. No, we won't. Um, you may like her, Mr. Matthew Joseph, but uh, I don't know. I think there are a lot of Star Wars fans that would prefer to see her uh, not even set foot near this uh, franchise. But this is the article that kind of set the stage for these Brie Larson rumors once it was announced that Kevin Feige was um, going to be producing a Star Wars movie. And because of Kevin Feige's relationship with Brie Larson and bringing her into such a pivotal role in the MCU, if Kevin Feige is moving over to Lucasfilm, then chances are that he might bring Brie Larson with him. And if the sources of this article are to be believed, then what they were hearing over at Disney about, you know, Disney wanting Brie Larson in a Star Wars film could be related to Kevin Feige's involvement with Star Wars going forward. So that was kind of the impetus of that rumor, and uh, it's probably the most alarming uh, speculation uh, of Kevin Feige's involvement with the Star Wars universe is simply that a lot of fans don't want Brie Larson involved with Star Wars. And I can't say I blame them. Um, you know, Star Wars needs to be healed right now. It needs to kind of move forward and try to make amends with the fans that it's alienated. And to put in such a divisive figure like Brie Larson, someone who has openly attacked people for being male and being white and stuff like that, that's not what this franchise needs at the moment. It needs someone who can include everybody to bring in everyone into the fandom instead of upsetting and alienating people. Now, uh, that brings us to some alternate speculation as to who could potentially be the major actor that Kevin Feige is talking about. Well, another um, actor who I would consider to be major that Kevin Feige has a close personal relationship with and who is now free from all of his commitments to the Marvel Cinematic Universe is, of course, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, Tony Stark himself, Iron Man, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is now um, free from his obligations to the MCU, which means that his schedule is wide open. And because uh, of his over a decade-long working relationship with Kevin Feige, it makes sense that Kevin Feige may want to bring him in to his Star Wars movie. And I think at this point, Robert Downey Jr. is a far bigger, more major actor than Brie Larson is, uh, despite her Oscar win. So if this is true, I will be very excited uh, for Kevin Feige's Star Wars movie because I think having Robert Downey Jr. involved would be a huge incentive to get people back in, uh, and excited about the Star Wars franchise. Now, barring that, there is one more casting rumor that I feel uh, I should mention that is even more exciting, at least to me, than Robert Downey Jr. being involved in a Star Wars movie. And that is, and I haven't really read this anywhere, but um, let me just kind of uh, take you to this uh, Hollywood Reporter article that I found, which is uh, who could be Kevin Feige's mystery Star Wars actor uh, mentioned in the video. And the big one is this gentleman right here, Keanu Reeves. Yes, the breathtaking one himself, Keanu Reeves. Um, he is one of the people who is being rumored uh, to be the quote-unquote major actor that uh, um, Kevin Feige was talking about. Now, Keanu Reeves has seen a career renaissance lately with uh, the help of John Wick, the John Wick franchise, which are excellent movies. Uh, the Matrix is being resurrected over at Warner Brothers, and, uh, Ke and um, Keanu is going to be involved in that. So he's going back to the uh, major action franchise that really made him an A-lister in the eyes of many. 
And he also has just finished the new Bill and Ted movie, which for various reasons I cannot wait to go see. So his his uh, star is really on the rise. Now that that's not to say that, you know, he he wasn't beloved before, but now he's kind of going back to all these franchises that people love and have fond memories of and uh, new franchises that people are excited about and he's really getting out in the forefront. Now, uh, it's important to note here that uh, Keanu Reeves and Kevin Feige have been in negotiations to bring Keanu Reeves into the Marvel Cinematic Universe for, for quite some time. And they have not been able to kind of settle on a character or a role or something that really interests Keanu enough to want to commit to it. Because one of the interesting things about Keanu Reeves is that he has a lot of integrity as an actor. He's someone who, when he commits to a role, he wants to make sure that the role is interesting to him. He doesn't just do it because of the paycheck. Um, he does it because it's a challenge or because it's something new and different or just because he likes it. Uh, you know, you saw that with his involvement with Cyberpunk 2077, the video game, where uh, he's basically, uh, he basically agreed to, you know, um, do motion capture and voice acting and stuff for a character in that video game simply because he was intrigued by the world, by the universe, by the story, by the people making the video game and stuff like that. So it's very important to him as an actor that the, sort, that the material that he's doing uh, brings something new to the table. And one of the interesting things about Keanu Reeves is that even though him and Feige might not have been able to come to a uh, agreement on his involvement with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it could be that Star Wars is something that intrigues Keanu enough to get him to agree to do a, uh, a major role in Kevin Feige's version of Star Wars. And the role that I'm speculating Keanu Reeves might be the most interested in is that of Darth Revan. And the reason for that is because, you know, if you ever played the um, Knights of the Old Republic video game, you'll know that Darth Revan is a very fascinating character. He's not necessarily completely evil. He's not necessarily completely good. He kind of falls somewhere in the middle. And uh, I think that a role like that set in the Star Wars universe is something that would be extremely attractive to an actor like Keanu Reeves. And so uh, that's why I place a little bit more credibility in the rumor of Keanu Reeves being the major actor. And it's just because of his long negotiation relationship with Kevin Feige and the fact that Keanu would probably be very interested in doing something like that should his schedule permit it. So um, my two big uh, bets on the major actor that Kevin Feige is eyeing for his Star Wars movie are either Robert Downey Jr., which is probably the most likely one, or uh, Keanu Reeves. Now, is that to say that there's no way in, in possibility that uh, Brie Larson isn't the actor uh, you know, being named here and uh, would be uninvolved in this movie at, in any way, shape, or form? Not necessarily. Uh, I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility. Brie Larson is an Oscar winner. She's someone who's very popular in the right circles in Hollywood. Disney is putting a big emphasis on her in the MCU. And she does have a personal relationship with Kevin Feige. And she's a huge Star Wars fan as well. She's got a close personal relationship with uh, um, Samuel L. Jackson, who was in the prequels. So, I mean... I think that, you know, if she starts lobbying for the role, there's a good chance that even if she isn't the major actor that was mentioned in the article, she might find some way to associate herself with the project down the line. So, uh, you know, uh, that is not out of the realm of possibility, unfortunately. One more person that I actually want to kind of um, point out in this article, which was someone I hadn't really considered, but it might be interesting is uh, Michael Williams here. Let me make sure I'm getting his name right. I'm sorry, Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> Michael Williams, I'm, I'm, uh, I apologize. Uh, I should know his name, but uh, the, the mind is the first thing to go. So uh, Michael B. Jordan is someone that Marvel has a relationship with. Not only was he Johnny Storm in one of the Fantastic Four movies, uh, even though Marvel didn't 
really produce that. You know, they had an association with it. Uh, but he was Killmonger in one of their biggest releases, which was the Black Panther movie. And so uh, they have a working relationship with him. If you've seen the Black Panther movie, you know that he's not coming back for the sequel. So he doesn't have any commitments to the MCU, and his star is on the rise. But I'm not quite sure um, that he is the person that was uh, uh, being mentioned in the article that Kevin Feige was considering for a role in Star Wars, simply because he seems to be very busy. Like, he's got a lot of projects uh, kind of set up, ready to go. He's kind of being poised to be the next big action star out there, uh, you know, landing a role in uh, a Tom Clancy franchise. Um, but, uh, you know, for a long time, he was actually rumored to be involved with the Matrix reboot or the Matrix continuation, whatever you want to call it, as a young Morpheus. So, uh, you know, he's definitely got interests in uh, a lot of different genres and a lot of different franchises. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that he could be the one, but I'm thinking that, uh, you know, he probably isn't. But I just wanted to mention him just in case, um, you know, down the road uh, when it is announced who this mystery actor that Kevin Feige has in mind is. I want to make sure my bases are covered so I can point to it and be like, see, I was right. Because <laughs> uh, I like being right. Um, but uh, regardless, you know, uh, it could literally be anyone, but I feel like, Keanu Reeves and um, Robert Downey Jr. are probably the most likely. And if Brie Larson does get a role, uh, it, it's going to be something other than the leading character. We shall see. We don't know. A lot of people are saying Kevin Feige's gone so woke, it's going to be like a black woman or you know, uh, some type of person of color or uh, a female who's going to be the lead in his movie. I got, I got no problem with that as long as the character's interesting and it's not a Mary Sue and it's, you know, uh, a movie that feels and, like Star Wars and tells a good story. Uh, you know, I'm open to pretty much anything just as long as the movie's good. Um, but out of all these actors I mentioned, I think a Darth Revan, uh, Keanu Reeves would probably be the thing I'd get most excited about. Barring that, Robert Downey Jr. in some type of role would be absolutely fantastic for me personally. What do you guys think? Who do you think could be the major actor Kevin Feige wants to get involved in the Star Wars universe? Uh, who, like, What casting de decision would you like to see made? Are you a fan of Brie Larson's? And if not, you know, uh, do you want to see her anywhere near the Star Wars universe? Let me know in the comments, and as always, for more movie, TV, and entertainment news and analysis, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. Until next time, this is Matthew Kadish. I'll catch you guys later.